The technical challenge with poi is infinite, clearly. And as middle-aged women who have lives, who, you know, we're not these spring chickens who learn like a 20-year-old with these undeveloped brains, right? And uh, our neuroplasticity isn't quite the same. We have the reality of the time pressure of life. The practice is infinite, time is finite. That said, you have a performance in mind. Even if that performance is someplace years out into the future, one thing that you can start thinking about is what aesthetics in the patterns appeal to you? What types of patterns, visuals, do you wanna be focusing on? You may not know the answer to that, but thinking about that question can really elucidate where your emphasis is gonna to wanna to be when you're looking through the move inventory of what's possible. I have a client who decided, when he came to me, he came to me last year to work on a performance for this year. Now he came back this year. And we've expanded on the concept. When he first came to me, he said, well, I just feel like everything is so circular. I wanna do something that isn't so circular. So we started working on more Jedi stalls last year, and then uh, tangles and more anti-spin because the anti-spin creates an oval and pendulums. All of these things create different, different patterns than just your straight up circle. And then this year, we started adding things like floats because this float, you now suddenly have a line in the middle of your circles and ovals, right? You may not know the answer to the question, but I'm planting the seed in your mind so that you can continue to use it as a I guess a guidepost for how you proceed in what you're trying to create. Some things may look better for what you have in mind, some things may not. Like maybe you want the staccato of being able to do upstall. So like staccato may be a motivation for you. Fluidity may be a motivation. I can't know, but if you're not investigating, you're not gonna figure it out either. So I'm just throwing that out there to your creative mind. And even if it's not possible, better to start with the impossible and figure out how to make it closer to that than to not even think about it, I think.